it's alpha. <laughs> you know, yeah. so but yeah. for an alpha at the state it's at right now, from what I've seen of alphas of other games and stuff like that, it's extremely good. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I have a couple of questions for Rooster because he's our guest today. Okay. And uh, these these questions that they're, they're not interrogate inter- oh, God words I cannot speak today I'm sorry interrogative interrogative yeah I've it's been a long day I'm sorry you have to forgive me um, so Rooster when did you first learn about Star Citizen uh, first learned about Star Citizen I want to say uh, summer of 2013 ish yeah that sounds right. Mm. And uh, I'd heard about it. I actually heard from a friend. And he said, oh, yeah, you know, the guy who made Wing Commander is making a new Wing Commander game. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So I looked it up, and uh, it turns out it wasn't a Wing Commander game at all, but uh, kind of in the same spirit of things. And, uh, yeah, it took me all of five minutes to get hooked on it. And, nice. uh, yeah, I, yeah, I got in it. I, the next day I got my first package. Uh, with the constellation, and uh, uh, about a week later, I got the subscription, and uh, yeah, been in ever since. Nice one, nice. Um, what ships do you currently own? Oh Jesus! Uh, <laughs> here, let, let me bring up a list. <laughs> well, obviously, there's the the Idris frigate. Yeah. Uh, you all know that. Uh, I got a retaliator. Obviously, the constellation, and then the little. I got the upgrade to the Phoenix. Once that came out, and nice. uh, of course you get the little snub fighter with that, which I think is yep. called the Archimedes. Boo! Oh, this, you need to shut your hate up. <laughs> <laughs> shut your hate up. <laughs> Wrong with that. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see what else. It's like um, a gnat. It, it is. is. You know, but it's a really fast thing. I like to go fast. Uh, Gotta go which fast. Which would also explain my purchase of the M50 and the 350R, because I couldn't decide between the two of them, so I just got them both. Uh, let's see, the Gladius, uh, Super Hornet, what's that? Should have got the 890, fastest cap ship, probably will be. Uh, if you classify it as a cap (laughs) ship. (laughs) Are we going to get back into this 890 thing again? I was going to say, that's, this is something that's discussed on every TeamSpeak session, I swear, the the 890. (laughs) Ah, whatever. Uh, I don't own an 890. I would like to. Yes. Uh, let's see. What do I got? So, yeah, the oh. Gladius, Super Hornet, the Aegis Saber. Uh, what else? I got the Kartu All. Nice. Scout thing. Yeah. Uh, I got a Carrick. Uh, nice. The Anvil Gladiator. And let's see, scrolling down, scrolling down. I think that covers it. Nice. See, oh, I got the I got the Reliant. I actually picked one so the Reliant. The Reliant, yeah. So not much then. You haven't got many ships then. No, no, no it's just not that many. Not that many. <laughs> nice, uh, nice. Poor, poor ship, poor. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, that's uh, funny. I... Sorry, go it, go ahead. It, it, go ahead. It, it took a lot for me not to get any more uh, this past uh, anniversary thing, mm. but uh, I actually held off, so I'm good to go. I think I'm good you on ships for a while. You were the crucibles then. No, 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 no. Didn't go with that. Nice. Take the Idris out of the equation. What would be your favorite ship that you would want to fly all the time if you could? Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, you know, I. I like small, nimble type things. I mean, I I love flying the M50. I love flying the Gladius. It'd probably be one of those two. Yeah. Um, They're pretty good ships. They are. uh, I like the 350R. Um, It's got a fat ass. It goes fast, but it's it it doesn't turn. It's not as nimble as I like to. uh, I would like it to be. Mm. And so I'm hoping to upgrade a lot on my M50 to make it freaking fast. That, nice. That's the whole 300 series with that fat ass thing. I, I do yeah. know what you're talking about. Go I was flying good. around on uh, the Uni last night, and 
Yeah, yeah. I was, I was. What, why is my butt moving out here when I'm trying to side slip? And stuff? Uh, yeah. <laughs> butt heavy yeah. is it? Very butt yeah. heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's great for straight lines. But, you know, nice. That. So, what are you looking forward to most in the universe? What What is it that you want to do more than anything else? in the Star oh, Citizen Yeah, you know, it's it, it seems to change every day because I, I hear something else that's going to happen and I'm like, wow, you know, I want to do that too. Mm. Uh, I think, honestly though, uh, one of the biggest things that I really liked about what Star Citizen was trying to push was the collaborative work on, you know, these big ships, the big capital ships. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to, you know, getting a... A, a no shit crew together that you know wants to cruise together and do you know something really awesome and yeah. go out into that deep 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 space where people are afraid to go but we're not because we got a big ship with a lot of guns oh yeah and uh you know and, the, and good people to to run those things and, and find out all these cool things you know i want to be the first to go to a place you know and pick mm -hmm. something out i want to be the first to find something uh, so that's i think with a with a group of friends and doing that as a crew, I think that would be probably one of the coolest things to do. You know, leave our mark on that on the Star Citizen universe. Awesome. Oh yeah. If there and, was, uh, um, if there was one thing that you would like to see implemented in Star Citizen that hasn't been already, what would that be? Gosh. Um. Uh, I don't know pole dancers. <laughs> I'm sure hey! that's a thing. I'm no, sure no, that's no, probably no, going to be a thing. I, actually, I don't know. I mean, it's uh, they've already covered so much. I think, um, I think what I would like to see. I mean, they've talked about it a lot. You know, obviously we've got, um, you know, the ability to shoot each other with guns and not just be in our ships. You mm -hmm. know, we can go around and, and, and do all that, but I would like to see a, a truly fleshed out uh, ground battle. You know, I'm talking yeah. tanks and, you know, aerial bombardment kind of stuff. If, it, if, if Star Citizen gets so far as to do that, where it's a, you know, no kidding, <clears throat> we're in orbit and we've got a blockade and they're fighting on the ground and we're doing close air support on the ground all this stuff happening i think that would probably be the absolute coolest thing mm -hmm. full ground to space war. open simulator oh yeah just everything going all at once which it looks like you know it's possible to do that with the technology they've been throwing at us it just needs to be fleshed out more so i'm, I'm hopeful i think it may actually happen on down the road it's chris roberts so anything could oh, yeah. happen can that <laughs> it could happen oh yeah nice Nice. Well, thank you very much for the questions. Um, we're going to move on to the next section, which is what have we all been doing this week? Um, so we'll start with Lieutenant Monty. What have you been doing this week, my friend? Um, looking at 2.0 videos. Wishing I had 2.0. <laughs> Crying a little. Crying a little. Um, shouting at Gherkin, the Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> he did get. He did actually get promoted to lieutenant. You yeah, did. well, I don't see a little insignia in TeamSpeak or anything. Well, I, I mean, I feel betrayed you, you, by the you, you, know. <laughs> you being the only lieutenant, uh, feel like you need to come up Americanization with your own is worst. <laughs> <laughs> that and the Frenchies colluding. Oh God! Please. Uh, <laughs> But this th I think you need to talk to Moose. I think he can bump you up. Yeah, <laughs> he might. He might. If maybe you can, maybe it can become an official rank, which only be. you can have. Higher than lieutenant. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you have horrible incontinence whenever you uh, get called. Uh, <laughs> left lieutenant. <laughs> Nice. Now, maybe we could come up with a whole exchange program or something. <laughs> Just for you. For you, uh, you're going to be a lieutenant and a lieutenant commander. <laughs> and then he can be right, tenant. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we forgot lieutenant junior grade. Oh, yeah. Lieutenant junior grade. Yeah. Why not send to lieutenant us while we're at it? Oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, you're, just getting, you're just getting fancy now. <laughs> or the lieutenant from the one up. 
crystal or something. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. Yes. The horrible signs of the UVENR's internal bullying in the offices. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, it's only you. You realize that, right? <laughs> <laughs> British Empire will prevail. <laughs> <laughs> is that in the lore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is now. <laughs> As written by Monty, <laughs> the British will rise again. <laughs> so, what about you, Hooch? What have you been doing this week? Working, arguing with the state of Texas over registering my car. Nice. Watching 2.0 videos. Mm. Waiting patiently for 2.0 to come out. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. You know, well, playing some GTA 5. There you go. Oh, and uh, we did a little bit of experimentation with uh, Arma 3 and uh, some carrier ops. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, Moose and I did that. That, that. that worked out pretty good. Yeah, it looks cool. It looks really cool. Um, I've never been really that much into modding to be honest but that looks insane that looked that look yeah, really cool it does look really nice yeah yeah I, I i was really kind of oh my god how many mods am i gonna have to put into this <laughs> it did literally take about 10 minutes though so when, once you get the i think it's like a total of five or six mods they all install pretty quickly and easily but once you're done it's 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 done it you know yeah yeah it, it, it definitely looked good. Um, what about you, Rooster? What have you been doing this week? Uh, I've been working, too. Uh, uh, not getting enough sleep. <laughs> uh, that's, God, you know, that's pretty much it, man. It's like I make all these plans. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come home and play this thing. And then, you know, I have to stick around for work because... I'm actually on leave now. I, I went on leave yesterday. Nice. But I had, to, I had to prep everything for the holidays. So I was like, oh, I got it. All this extra stuff, so I worked. <laughs> I worked later than normal, and uh, yeah, and uh, I had to do a lot of paperwork I really didn't want to do. Fun. But uh, in the meantime, you know, I've, I've been trying to catch up on the videos and get a little PTU action. And it seems like every time I came home, they had a new patch for the PTU. They patch that thing like every day. That's sometimes quick, twice, isn't it? Yeah. Sometimes twice a day. Yeah, they're insane. They patch it, and uh, which is cool, but it would take like an hour each time. So I'm like, oh god. Yeah. Yeah. How early or late on did they get you into the uh, PTU? Uh, I was the second round. Right. So the 5,000 then or something, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so I got in you know, fairly quickly. I, I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted to on it, but uh, yeah, it was, mm. it was good. Mm. Yeah, because um, I think I was getting to the point with the PTU where I kind of knew it was going to be soon but yeah. I didn't know whether it was going to be a couple more patches to get it stable but I think you know when I when Chris Roberts came on reverse the verse yesterday and just non nonchalantly just said oh yeah by the way <laughs> we're releasing the PTU today and just <laughs> walked away funny. and just walked away as if yeah. it was no big deal and the chat just exploded yeah. It just absolutely exploded. <laughs> and it and it was funny because I, I had turned that on. I had turned the stream on, I mean, literally 30 seconds before he did that. It was perfect timing. I was like, you got to be shitting me. That's awesome. That's, it was good. It was really, really good. <laughs> now, second question I got about the PTU here when you were in it. Did you find any bugs and did you report them? Uh, yes, and I didn't report them because there were already oh. bugs that reported. Oh, okay. I just, I, I said, yes, I can recreate that. All right, those yeah, guys. fair enough. So yeah. it, was, it wasn't anything new. It was just like, yeah, I can definitely recreate it. It was several, actually. I mm -hmm. had the one where you could fall through the retaliator, and then there was one, you know, just general uh, lagginess. It was just like, God. I mean, it would start off fine, and I could get, you know, 30, 45. I think at one point I was as high as 52 FPS, and then within five minutes I was down to like five. Wow. You know, stuff like wow. that. And yeah. it's something I think it's it's definitely server side. And uh, but yeah, you know, on this morning I think the first time I logged in on one of the servers, it, it, it started off kind of slow. I couldn't fly or fight or anything, and then I just logged back in on another one, and it was. Nice. Yeah, I yeah, think there's, there are a lot of bugs. 
Yeah, there's still yeah. going to be a little hit and miss, isn't there? It's, you know, yeah. I, I see the, the tally problem still kind of kicks out every now and then. Yeah. Uh, some of the videos I've been watching and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just I... run the full alpha now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think, like, I don't, I don't think a lot of people maybe understand how important this is. Like, just how much of a massive step up this is because oh God, yeah. yeah now we have the PTU they've already said this is where they're going to build the game from this is where the build it, it, the game is now essentially going to be constantly improved from now we have 2.0 where we essentially have Star Citizen which I think is is amazing you know in, in such a little time as well we, we've got oh, yeah. we've got a very early game sure and it's going to take a while but we've got a game and I think it's, it's great it's great to uh, have. Great to have. I, I will just say, I mean, for 2.0, I, I was very, very surprised. And even in the PTU, I noticed this stuff, the stuff I played today. There are a lot of little things out there that most people probably aren't even aware of that are there. I mean, everybody knows that the Comrilees there are there, and you know, there's an asteroid belt and a planet and all that stuff. There's actually a lot more going on out there that you know you actually have to go and find it. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's there, and there's a lot of stuff. I was really surprised at all the little nooks and crannies and and stuff that's going on out there, and all that space. It's yeah. really really cool. I was very pleased with. It. Awesome, awesome. Definitely good. Definitely, I think to be honest, <laughs> I think it can only get better as well. Oh which... yeah. Which is another great thing. And bigger. What was that, sorry? Hopefully an awful lot bigger. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it'll oh, get yes. bigger as well. Yeah. Yeah. An absolute... It'll be interesting when they finally uh, put in the jump points for the first time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think the one question I always ask them on their shows, like Around the Verse or um all of their live streams and i think a question i'm even going to ask on the 16th oh yeah by the way the 16th make sure everyone who's watching tunes in to that live stream because it's going to be a big one it's going to oh, be yeah. a big one i guarantee it um but yeah as i was saying the the question i always ask is when is the earliest that we're going to see capital ships and i re i really don't think it's going to be that long to be honest it it may even be next year that we start to see capital ships coming in because it, the service yeah, stability is be early next year. Yeah, you never know because it's just this going so Idris quick is now. Basically, fully functional at this point. Yeah, yeah the Idris will definitely drop first. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. yes. I'm, I'm mildly surprised it hasn't appeared in in hangar at this point. The Idris. Uh, I, I think suspect it's, not it's more to do away. with them not fixing up the hangar than anything. I think uh, it's very much in final stage of polish, more than likely. Um, and they're, then they probably have to. They still probably got to tweak things such as animations and all that kind of thing. But yeah, and maybe even collision because, as we know, big ships tend to have collision problems. But um, <laughs> such as mild the, understatement of the year. Yeah, um, I so, think you. I think you've just inspired a lot of confidence in Rooster and who's going to oh, be his yeah. helmsman. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, you, you're going to have men today. just falling out of the ship during quantum drive. Uh oh, <laughs> I think how many did we up. lose? Yeah, <laughs> I'll be walking up to Rooster with his cup of tea in the uh, command deck. And then I'll fall through straight through the deck into the engine room. Yeah. <laughs> accidentally destroy the reactor. Yeah, and spill the tea. <laughs> and spill the tea. Oh, worse tea. Even oh, worse. Yeah. Oh, that'll piss me off so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have to airlock you. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. But yeah, um, anyway, it's time for our next section, which is Ship of the Week. I need to get yeah. I need to get some sort of voice synthesizer for that because that was really uninspiring. But um, <laughs> the ship of the week. Aren't we all? Yeah. <laughs> the ship of the week this week is the Vanguard. Um, and as we said last week, we were going to take a, a closer look at this ship. Uh, the point of this section is we basically take a ship and we talk about it. Um, in depth and kind of analyze it so you don't have to um, and basically we'll switch every other week from military to civilian versions and kind of have a look at each of these ships which I think is cool um, 
so what did we all find out about the Vanguard? Or do, what do we know of the Vanguard, essentially? Big, good in a straight line, right. can take a lot of damage, can put out a lot of damage. Oh, yes. Oh, I mean, that sums it up quite perfectly, oh. doesn't it, really? In terms of summary. Except for this, the Sentinel, which variants? can do his little magic. Yeah. The Sentinel is e-warfare, isn't it? Yeah, so... Yeah, well, they're all combat-based variants. There aren't any, unlike the Avenger, which has its transport variant. They're all dedicated to some form of warfare. Yeah, yeah. You've got your Warden, which covers medium ship engagements fairly nicely with its large, robust minigun and anti-ship well, missiles, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, you've yeah. got your Vanguard Harbinger, which excels in bomber hunting, I'd suspect, with mm. its torpedoes. Well, it's essentially a fighter bomber, in the nose. isn't it? The the Vanguard Harbinger. It is essentially a fighter bomber because it has the missiles on top. So. Yes, it's got that rather nice rocket pods. Yeah. Set up. Which I love. I think that's so cool. <laughs> it's it's if if I if I hadn't got the warden, I think it'd have definitely been the harbinger. But yeah, I, did I, I kind of view it like day. a World War Two mosquito. Yes. Huh. Yeah. That's yes, that's how I is... think of it. Yeah. yeah. I must uh, admit, when I first saw the artwork, I thought they were going to say this is inspired by a mosquito. Yeah. yeah. Ever so slightly disappointed by what it was inspired by. It would have been more interesting <laughs> if they'd gone for less armor, but huge speed and uh, yeah. could have opened up some interesting gameplay opportunities. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be that it's going to fill that nice little void in between, you know, standard fighter and something as big as a bomber. You know, I think it's it'll be interesting. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing long range strike fight fighter type stuff. You know, surgical strikes and the like. Oh yes. I see. I, I personally see the warden as kind of an anti-bomber. Yeah. Ship. Yeah. I can I get that. in yeah. there, put a lot of damage down on a bomber. The harbinger I see more as a not not capital ship, anti-capital ship, but anti-large ship, like con constellations, tally that size. Yeah. Maybe yeah. the void. Yeah. Um, Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Sentinel I could see as part of a fleet of smaller fighters being its E-War backup. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I wouldn't yeah. want to mess with the Sentinel anyway, even if it has got an E-War module, because just the Vanguard in general just has a ton of weapons on it. Just a ton. And they're all big tier as well. Like, they're, not, they're nothing to laugh at. Um, I mean, even just the, the standard Warden... Um, comes with i mean let's just look at the hard points here i mean just on on the fixed itself it has four times size twos and one times size five which is obviously the huge ballistic gatling cannon on the front <laughs> so it's definitely nothing to shake your fist at it's 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 a nice nice ship with a lot of goddamn guns on it so I think the oh yeah harbinger would more terrifying though i mean you'll have your laser cannons the same as the um Warden, but in addition, instead of a Gatling cannon, you'll have a large rail gun. Yeah. Oh yeah. Is that's going to be a frightening ship? Might lose an engine, etc. Yeah, that is going to be a frightening ship to go up against. But the Harbinger is also a ship I could see Doolittle using in World War Two to bomb Japan. Yeah. That long distance to Doolittle. Yeah. Made. Yeah. That yeah, would be the that. type of ship that I think Doolittle would have used. To do that, like a Mitchell kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, I'm interested to see how these get used because, obviously, as as has already been said, it's it's very much planet side based. So these things will be launched off of um, sp star systems and space stations and stuff. So you may be able to put these things on a carrier. But it we we got to try and get a couple in an Idris just oh, to see. Oh, of course you do. Of course gotcha. you do. Well, I suspect it will be able to be used in things like the Bengal and the Panther due to the folding wings. Yeah. I mean, in most planet side aircraft, at least with our current state of technology, don't have fixed wings. 
if they're naval based that usually will incorporate fixed wings if they are land based yeah yeah well i mean it will be interesting to see what we can do i mean i'm i'm sure we're all, we're gonna try out every single different ship like i wouldn't be surprised if we tried to put an idris in an idris just to see if it would fit. <laughs> I think that's more mating program. But <laughs> we need to make more addresses. <laughs> and the, the mating habits of capital M. ships. Yeah. <laughs> it would be the daddy Idris M and the mummy Idris P get together. They have beautiful, beautiful spaceship love, and it gets uploaded to YouTube. And then all of a sudden, a brand new Idris appears. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's going to be good. That'd be good. But then, again, like, just thinking about... Because obviously every ship in this game has such a huge amount of modularity as well. So it will be interesting to see um, what different modules the Warden had. I mean, as I, I think, as Monty's already said, you know, there's it very much looks as if it's very warfare-focused. So whether we're actually going to see yes, any... I potential cargo I suspect I suspect that the freelancer being in a similar weight class to the Vanguard will probably be more a more modular ship yeah Is it being a, a civilian ship and therefore having greater market impact I it suspect makes sense. there'll be more impetus for CIG yeah. to create more variation within that ship yeah, I mean, that makes sense what you said, because, I mean, a military ship is a military ship, isn't it? And a civilian ship is, well, whatever the hell we kind of want it to be, essentially, of course, apart from all the really, really fancy military stuff. But um, Well, there is there is that military uh, variant of the Freelancer. I can't remember what it was called, but... The, the Miss. Uh, the yeah. Miss. Yeah. yeah. Supposedly it exploded a lot while it was being developed, but never mind. <laughs> That's fine. Hey. Yeah. It's it's a missile boat, isn't it? The Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Designed uh, yes, it's to got all a missiles. special modification to the hull. Yeah. Yeah. Means you got racks of missiles along the outside of it or inside of its hull, sorry. That'll be incredible and to watch to the law, loading the in. While it's why yeah. it's a limited ship is because it supposedly exploded a few times. Yeah. 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 Mm. Not good on the resale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. We'll just sweep spread. that under the rug. Sleep it under the rug. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a government contract. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. Lowest bidder. Yep. Yeah, I think... I think when it comes to it, I think... Civilian variants of ships are probably... Maybe, if you do it right, could probably become a lot more powerful than military versions. Like, oh, yeah. the the way I see it, even with the address, just... you know, we, we get the, the I, well, the quote-unquote civilian version of an address, but the fact that, Buddy you know, joined your channel. Um, we're going to be able to um, put, you know, a massive rail gun on it in the first place anyway doesn't, doesn't particularly matter, um, I think it'll be pretty interesting, so. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna push the limits to this interest. The patriarch will be a, uh, a, a, a primarily first a testing bed for all this stuff because, quite frankly, none of us have ever done it before. Yeah. And uh, we're we're gonna put it through its paces. I'm gonna see how many times we can crash it. Uh, you know how many how many consistent retaliator head-on collisions we can take. You know all that kind of crap. What it looks like when we explode something on the flight deck. I mean, we're, if we can come up with it, we're gonna do it. Mm. Before we go live, of course. Oh, of course. Because then that shit gets expensive. And we ain't gonna oh yeah, and we we ain't got time for that shit. We're, we're gonna we're gonna screw up during the 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 testing phase during the alpha, so we don't screw up later. Yeah, that's the philosophy. Yeah. It, it got uh, a lot of testers. Yep. They're gonna want. They're jumping on board. We're gonna get it done. It will be interesting. I I honestly cannot wait um, until yeah. this is all. This is all done because, as I think, is if you test the ship to its limits in literally everything, then you you kind of know exactly what you're doing in yeah. every kind of situation. So, um, well, almost every kind of situation, obviously, depending. But um, 
yeah, I, I can't wait. I think capital ships are going to be awesome. I think it's just going to be such an amazing thing to to have because, I mean, what other game out there, apart from Angels Fall First, um, can offer that kind of just massive amount of... Oh, yeah. I, oh, I'm going to fly a capital ship now. Oh, we've been boarded. Oh, how about we go repulse the borders now? It's, it's just such a, an amazing thing to be part of, and I, I honestly can't wait. I honestly can't wait. Yeah. It's going to be good, and we're going to write the book on it. I mean, that's all there is to it. We're going to write the legitimate book. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how you can use smaller ships as force multipliers when it comes to the larger ships. Yeah. Uh -oh. Whether if you can fit the uh, vanguard onto the Idris, how much of a difference that would make in combat mm. in comparison to a pair of smaller ships and yeah. different combinations like that. Well, alright, gents, it's been fun, but I actually have to cut out early so I can go to this Christmas party. That's no problem. Thank you very much for joining us uh, today, hey, my Rooster. Pleasure. It's been, it's been awesome easy, having Rooster. you on. <laughs> alright, yeah, we'll do it again. Definitely, buddy. Definitely. Alright, take care, guys. Yeah, take care, buddy. Take care. Alright, and from your channel. with Rooster going, we actually have gained another. Uh, a wild moose has appeared. <laughs> Hello, moose, how are Howdy. you? <laughs> Doing good. Good, good. How are you finding 2.0 so far? You enjoying it? Very bandwidthy of some downloading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. Where is that progress bar? Progress bar so far? Uh, seven gigabyte to go. Oh wow. Nice, nice. That's well, that's not too bad then. Two days. I'll take you two days with it. <laughs> so uh we were just talking about the vanguard moose what what are your opinions on the vanguard looks like a ship to me <laughs> you're not wrong you're not wrong <laughs> i don't think i can comment on it since i haven't really had any experience with it or you know in it so no too much about it yeah yeah Other than that, long range platform sounds pretty cool. Nice, yeah. I mean, it should be good. Like, from from what I've seen of the kind of, not just the Vanguard, but the heavy fighters in general. Like, I think they're going to be nasty things to mess with. But I think they're going to kick a lot of Vandal ass as well, which is the main thing. Which is the main thing, of course, of course. I have one bone to pick with it. What's that? All right. So I'm sitting here. And last night, I bring it up in my hangar so I can go and have a look at it. You know, I spent this money on a warden, so I'm going to have a look at it. And I go in, and a lot of the functionality inside what you can get in the pilot seat, you know, it all works and stuff like that. And you can bring up the engineer's console. Yeah. Now, the screen unfolds. The screen is absolutely filthy. I would never sit there and allow that. I'd have to get some wipes and clean the damn thing. Yeah. You know, I, I hope, I, I, you know, what is, C, what is CIG doing? You know, they're releasing this ship, and it looks like somebody's gone with jam and just run their hand across the, the screen to the engineering department. I saw the video, and I agree entirely. It's absolutely yeah. disgraceful. Exactly. You know, you got to clean these things. You can't just, you know, put them out there that way. Polish and duster confirmed. For 2.0 <laughs> to wipe screens. Yeah. Be, you'll be charged UEC FDA for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so have a little lady working in your hangar comes out and she just kind of trundles over to the ship and goes no, in no, and just no, cleans no, it up. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> Ain't no clean. Need you, want, <laughs> you want polished landing gear? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> that extra charge. <laughs> Nice. Uh, in, in relevance to ship news in general, I feel I should mention the elephant in the room. Uh, they released the what we've been doing this month thingamajiggy, as they do every month. Ah, the report? Yeah. Yeah, and there were two beautiful pictures of the delightful retribution. Yee! Ah, we were talking yes. about that last night, weren't we, Moose? That's mm -hmm. right. It's, it, it's huge. Um, I know it was posted on the actual... Times. Yeah, I know it was posted on. The, uh, 
four or five times bigger than a Bengal carrier. It's huge. And that nice side by side shot, the Bengal looks tiny. Yeah, yeah, that was the. And then the um, panoramic view of the side, you see these huge clamps holding it in place. It's it's going to be awesome. I think it's going to be such a nice ship. To, to Anybody notice something else about this? Now, Moose and I were talking about this last night, but when you're looking at them pictures, does somebody, anybody else notice what we kind of think we noticed, that the ship might have a purpose? There's a massive girt-off railgun running along its center? Yes! Yes! Are you thinking like maybe outside. Planet Killer? Is that what you're thinking, perhaps? No, 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 just a Mac gun, you know. Magnetic accelerator cannon, a uh, large well, it's a rail or <laughs> to take out king ships. Yeah. Oh I yeah, think I think it's a one shotter, things. isn't it? Yeah, that must be about one and a half times the size of the Bengal. Mm -hmm. Your gun. Oh yes. It's, it's uh, gonna be good. And then you have to think of all the secondary armaments on it as well. So, all of the turrets, all of the torpedoes. I imagine it'll be even more rail guns. <laughs> even more rail guns. I suspect there'll also be a flight deck on there. I, it well. wouldn't surprise me. I mean, the thing is goddamn huge. It would be silly not to have a flight deck. Yeah, so well, I don't that, think that was, any orc will be fielding one of these. That was what me yeah. and Hooch were talking about. Is, is it you know is it a super carrier or is it? No, it's a super dreadnought. So it's just a big goddamn ship with a massive gun on it. From what I've seen and from it anyway. Uh, I think more the ship is the gun. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think else would be secondary. I see it almost like an A10 where it's been built around the gun because an A10 yeah. has obviously been I think built around the draw gal some... thing. I think in terms of past military things, I think you can draw some pretty good lines between it and the original Dreadnought, the Royal Navy, because mm. that was designed around the ex first time it was ever done. In fact. The exclusive use is a, of a big gun armament of one variety, and mm. this seems to be concentrating on just the one type of gun, as extreme as it is. Well, I mean, it's the first time we've ever heard Dreadnought in Star Citizen. We've heard Destroyer, Frigate, I Corvette. They mentioned, I think they've mentioned one Dreadnought. Possibly. But we haven't seen a single picture or leak or anything There's, of it. Yeah, they've they've mentioned other things such as the um, the Panther, which is like the escort carrier. The escort carrier, um, and obviously we haven't heard or seen anything of that. From what I can gather, um, they're actually currently working on Tavar and stuff um, in general, rather than anything else, which I think is is interesting. Like I can't. It It'll should be interesting to see Tavaran ships and actually Tavaran characters because we haven't seen anything from these guys yet. I mean, we've seen Giant and Bane, but were the Tavaran the ones wiped out by humanity, basically? Essentially, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the name of that ship that the Tavaran had that that the UE basically nicked and made their own version? Oh, of it? we made the Prowler out of it. Prowler, that's the they... one. I think mm. that's the human version of the ship. Mm. It's called a Prowler. But I'm not entirely sure what we call the original one. From what I've heard in the lore, they've, the ones that have survived are have essentially integrated into human society and that apparently well, seeing a Tavarin is it... so rare that uh, two Tavarin might not ever meet each other, ever. So I it should be it's interesting. Going to be... From what you could tell from the lore, I think they're a bit giving up. After yeah. the annihilation of their culture, it does sound a bit like the Native Americans in that respect. Well, their race is dying, essentially, isn't it? I mean, there's not many of them left. So, I don't know whether in the game the they'll touch power. upon that. So, I'm not sure. I don't know. But... Yeah. What about the... Uh... Cultures mix. Hmm. What about the other capital ships? Do you think you, do you know of anything or heard any whispers of it? Um, there are a couple of uh, the um, assets from the Vandal that were leaked back when uh, what's it called um, help me here the new guy that you make YouTube videos and oh Teller appeared. yeah Teller is, no, you, is that what uh, you're thinking of no the guy that randomly started working for CIG itself. oh Jared Huckabee uh, yes that's the man yeah um that when he was first doing the job, he took a, a picture of somebody working at the desk, 
and it happened to include a nearly complete hyperlink to the entire asset dump they currently had. And, and someone just... Oh, yeah, the leak, yeah. 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 Someone's we figured out the rest, nice. didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, we saw some quite nice Vandal assets. Mm. Including a boarding pod, which looked like this huge agate, almost, with a massive grinding, gearing, grabbing arms on the front of it. I think we're purposely quite not seeing too much Vandal and alien stuff. Well... Especially just not vandal stuff, so that we can see it when it actually comes to in Squadron Forty Two. Because I have a feeling, well, I definitely know that Squadron Forty Two is going to be about the Vandal War, isn't it? So that is the time that they're going to yeah. be saving it for. So, yeah. Personally, I don't want to know too much. No, me neither. Uh, not because Squadron Forty Two. That's that's a part of the whole thing, and yeah. That that will ruin it if we know everything before we go in. It's gonna be like mm, exactly, eh. exactly, yeah. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't know about our own fleet. Oh, of course not. <laughs> uh, I mean, it would it would be silly if we didn't because we're meant to be this. Yeah. It, we're, right. Well, obviously we're humans and we're meant to be part of the UEE. So, but though, well, just looking at the artwork, we do have of the retribution. It appears to be in a shipyard state. Yeah. So it does uphold, I hope, with my theory that part of the, at least part of the Squadron 42 campaign will be fighting back the Vandal and will be pushed back into our own space further. But then the Retribution will be brought into service and we'll see this massive epic thing where it jumps into the middle of a massive battle we're having protecting this main jump point and it will start slaughtering the Vandal. Hmm. Hmm. Because Vandal sure ships are huge, aren't they? I mean, absolutely huge, from what we yeah, know. Yeah. The King ships about one and a half times bigger than the uh, Bengal carrier. Yeah. Does I guess I'm. It's... I'm curious on what bridges the gap between the Bengal and the Javelin. Those are the ships I'm wondering. Uh, Probably a docking collar. What? Didn't we hear something about? <laughs> Oh wait, is the javelin the what used to be called the panther? No, the javelin is the dedicated destroyer. It's the destroyer. Yeah. The pe oh, it was is the it? Pegasus, oh, and I that became the panther. Maybe yeah. Panther then. I think that fills in this in terms of size anyway. The gap between those two. Yeah. So uh, no main battleship or cruisers. I I know oh, that there's going to be more capital ships. I know we haven't seen them all yet, but they just haven't told us yet because. They want to keep it a surprise. I ha I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that we will see ships that have we just haven't seen yet in Squadron Forty Two. I think so. a lot of this stuff might actually be released in game because the lore kind of puts it that the UE Navy is in a really bad state. Oh yeah, yeah, um, terrible. And it terrible just state. doesn't have the funding, the yeah. fleet. So, according it, it, to the most recent posts we've had, they just according to the lore anyway, they just basically did a full reverse on consideration of cuts and now of expanded military spending. Yeah, that was yeah. the latest um, lore article called Kaizen, wasn't it, or something like that? I need to... Yeah, so I believe that's correct. Yeah. <clears throat> so the fleet will be in a position where it's probably still small, but it's being built back up. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that's why the retribution's in the docks mm. at the moment. I think Part of all that. Yeah, I think what we're going to start as in Squadron 42 is the Zero. Maybe we've been dis maybe something dishonorable happened to us and we're, we're essentially being put on the front lines as, I don't know, maybe a, a, a punishment or something. But I've got a feeling that it's going to be the whole kind of Zero to Hero story, which, you know... You With me, that's not hard to believe. No, it's not hard to believe. It's, 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 it's generally because I probably have done something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, it, yeah, I think generally Squadron 42 is going to be us um, going, obviously, starting on the Stanton, um, meeting the old man, meeting whoever, kicking ass, and then gradually beating back the Vandal. And then, obviously, as, as uh, Monty said, there is a possibility that just as chapter one ends we're, we're getting our ass kicked and we're being pushed back towards our own borders and then obviously but there is hope yeah, ahead, I think it'll be a, an epic reveal with the retribution though 
I can imagine that thing piling through a jump point, blasting into real space, and promptly exhibiting its new cannon for all to see. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, king ship that's, say, in the process of bang blowing up a Bengal carrion, all of a sudden it's torn in half. Or just, uh, just atomized, the... more than likely. Atomized. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see how the damage model works with these huge cap ships. They're huge guns. It would be big. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. It would be a big, big explosions. And damage. I can imagine models. that massive rail gun will just tear ships in half. Oh yeah. And if you if you one of those things attacked a, a um an Idris, I don't think there'd be much left to pick up. <laughs> well, yeah. It's, it's, there wouldn't be anything to pick up. I don't think if if that attacked an Idris, it, it would just it. The beam itself was probably the the width and length of it, of an address. So, yeah. It'd be interesting to see what rounds that fires, if we can actually at some point get a look inside of the retribution. Well, It'd be interesting to see how big the rounds it fires are. If Chris, well, if it's like anything that Chris Roberts is usually like, then yes, you will more than likely be able to walk around this thing. Um, it will take bloody ages to model and I feel sorry for who's ever doing the grey boxing um, and yeah, the texturing the, uh, power lifts. yeah but um, yeah it's it should be I'm, I'm sure you'll be able to see what rounds it fires and everything and I'm sure they're absolutely colossal rounds um, but yeah so I think that's pretty much we've we've pretty much summed up what what we could for this week. Um, it's we've we've spoke about um, obviously two point is out now. It's exciting. Um, it's a lot to come from that, and I I I just can't wait to see what's going to happen with that. I think it's going to be great. Um, it's obviously as time goes on, it's going to get better and bigger. Be God, words better and better and bigger and bigger. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, thank you very much for for watching, guys. Um, we will be back next week at the same time. We'll have another um, another guest on. Um, do you guys want to choose a ship for next week to look at? It's it's a, it's your guys' choice now. I'm going to say eight ninety jump, so I can get it out of my system. Yeah, I, I think that's best, so we can get it all out of our system. But... Okay, so the eight ninety jump, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. brilliant. So next I'll, week, go ahead. Sorry, what's that? I'll bring the pipe and slippers. Don't worry. <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, you you better be the one clued up on this the most. <laughs> because I've I've got, a, I've got a real life brochure and everything. Have you? Oh yeah. Oh well, then you're okay. You you'll be lured up more than any of us. Um, so yeah, so next week, guys, um, there's probably a lot's gonna have happened. I'm I'm sure about it. I, I said the exact same thing last week. I'm sure next week's gonna be interesting, and it was. 2. We were given 0. two point oh. Um, so and and I and things happened, and uh, our lieutenant live stream next week. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that we would have had the sixteenth live stream. So I'm sure there's gonna be an absolute ton to talk about. Um, yeah, we have some, some, some interesting rumours regarding that. That's well, important. yes. Um, if I you... think Idris Flyable might be uh, the big reveal. Um, I don't know. I mean, from what I've heard, from what Ben said, he, he said that he was absolutely blown away by it. And from what Ion Traz has said, because he visited the o the Austin offices recently, he says it's it's incredible and it's something that we're not expecting. So, po yeah, possibly... Capital ships viable, but yeah, we I can only bloody hope. But as I said, we can only really guess now because there's so many different maybe things. Maybe a new star system. Possibly, maybe a new star system. I know Nix was rumored. Nix was rumored to be the next one in. So I'm sure Nix will be coming on the 16th. I have no doubts. Actually, I've got. I'm pretty sure about that. Um. All aboard the hype train. Yes, <laughs> definitely. I think I'm gonna definitely stock up on snacks and all sorts before Wednesday because it's gonna be a big one and it's gonna be good. So, 
I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of tissues. Plenty of lubricant. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, what are you watching? <laughs> yeah. Plenty, there's plenty of Kleenex. Plenty of lubricant. Because um, we're probably going to have to prepare our anuses. That's what I'm saying <laughs> for, for Wednesday. It's going to be a big one. our wallets. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> prepare the wallet. Um, from what might may be coming as well. Well, I probably know is coming. There's going to be obviously the last Christmas sale of the year, um, because it is CIG's last big thing for the year before 2016. And uh, 2016 is going to be a huge year. I guarantee it. It's going to be a huge year. Let's not forget the live stream coming up too. Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, guys, and thank you very much for joining us. I would thank Rooster for being our guest today, but he's buggered off, so screw him. Thank you, Moose, for being the replacement guest. You've been great. <laughs> in fact, in fact, Moose, would you like to be the official guest next week? We might as well get the invitation out now. Mm, I'll have to uh, find out what my schedule says. Okay. <laughs> well, there goes that priority. Oh, list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great week. I'm sure we're going to have plenty to talk about uh, when, when we come back off it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye. Laters.